Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the U.S. President-elect Donald Trump, where His Majesty congratulated him for gaining the trust of the American people in the last presidential elections, wishing him success. His Majesty highlighted the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the USA, which His Majesty aspires to enhance in various fields, and wished Trump a lasting good health and wellness, and the USA and his people further prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with His Highness Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, to inquire about his health, wishing him lasting good health and wellness. His Highness the Emir of Kuwait expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness, praising the fraternal and amicable ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular today regarding the holidays of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day and the 17th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Marking the occasions, all government ministries, authorities and institutions in Bahrain will be off on Friday and Saturday corresponding to December 16th and 17th. And since the holiday falls on a weekend, the holiday will be compensated with Sunday and Monday corresponding to December 18th and 19th. 19th. His Royal Highness the Premier Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibia Palace Mayor of Houston, Texas Sylvester Turner and his accompanying delegation for the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. In the meeting, His Royal Highness asserted that the nations of the region are of peace and coexistence, which guarantees, along with the co encouraging economic factors, a solid ground for commercial and investment cooperation with various countries of the world, pointing to the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to support the strategic economic cooperation with the United States of America and the city of Houston in particular. He commended the Bahraini-U.S. relations and its development in numerous fields and expressed his aspirations that uh, such as relationships uh, would even grow stronger under the new U.S. administration. He also hailed the historic ties between Bahrain and the United States, stressing his keenness to boost the prospects of bilateral cooperation and coordination between the two countries on all levels, particularly the economic and investment levels. His his Royal Highness the Prime Minister emphasized the importance of bilateral meetings and the exchange of visits between officials and businessmen in order to broaden new horizons that contribute to overcoming global challenges. For his part, Mr. Turner affirmed the depth of the Bahraini-U.S. relations, citing the keenness of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to continue developing robust relations between the two countries in all areas. He also praised His Royal Highness's achievements in the countless fields that became synonymous with Bahrain's renaissance and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met yesterday His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan at Al Shatit Palace. The meeting took place on the sidelines of His Royal Highness's visit to Abu Dhabi to participate in the Fikr 15 conference which is organized by the Arab Thought Foundation entitled Arab Integration, the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf and the 
United Arab Emirates. During the meeting, His Royal Highness emphasized the strong and long-standing bilateral ties between Bahrain and the UAE, which received the full support of His Majesty King Hamad and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the UAE. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of further expanding bilateral ties to reflect the two countries' commitment to the relationship. He also highlighted the integral role the UAE plays in supporting efforts to further promote the GCC integration in order to achieve wider Arab integration and capitalize on opportunities that facilitate greater development across all sectors. His Royal Highness conveyed His Majesty King Hamad's regards to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, extending his best wishes for the UAE of further development and prosperity. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan welcomed His Royal Highness's visit to Abu Dhabi, stressing the strong and deep-rooted bilateral ties that exist between both countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi. During the visit, His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of supporting the region's youth through robust education programs in order to achieve target development goals. His Royal Highness further highlighted the importance of building and sustaining a modern education system which fosters innovation and creativity. He praised the university's strong commitment to responding and reforming its education system and teaching methods based on evolving trends. He also cited the university's significant achievements since its establishment in 2007, including securing new patents and setting up specialized research centers. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underlined the commitment and support of the leadership of the UAE, headed by His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to further strengthen the country's position as a sustainable technology-based economy. His Royal Highness was briefed by Khalifa University's Executive Director, Dr. Arif Sultan al-Hamadi on the strategic plans and goals that the university are seeking to achieve and the modern scientific methods used to inspire innovation and creativity. He also toured the university campus visiting various departments in which he praised the work of the university's highly qualified teaching staff and management. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today visited the headquarters of the Abu Dhabi Urban Planning Council, the UPC. During the tour, the Crown Prince highlighted the GCC countries must continue to prioritize close cooperation and collaboration to advance urban planning development. The Crown Prince further added that the GCC should closely align on urban development policies to ensure plans are carried out in accordance to international best practice and standards. Standards. Addressing Bahrain's sustainable infrastructure development, the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's uh, concentrated efforts to accelerate urban development plans to meet the strategic goals of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, which priori prioritizes sustainable planning and urban connectivity. In this regard, the Crown Prince highlighted that His Majesty's decrees that established the Higher Urban Planning Committee and introduced the strategic uh, structural plan demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to ensuring a modern and sustainable environment is realized across the country whilst preserving Bahrain's rich cultural heritage. The Crown Prince went on to praise uh, the architectural advancement or achievements of the UAE, noting that they have greatly contributed to GCC's reputation as a hub for modern design and infrastructure. Her Royal Highness Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, patronized today the inauguration of Masakan Project's first model at the Alusi area in the Northern Governorate. The project is specified for the fifth housing category to benefit from the services provided by the Kingdom. She affirmed that this project comes under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa based on a study conducted by the SCW to monitor the needs of Bahraini women from various social categories. The study showed the need for such housing projects to accommodate one of the important components of the Bahraini society. Princess Sabika commended the efforts of the Ministry of Housing for providing residence for citizens, which is an inalienable right granted by the state. She affirmed that the right to housing for women is one of the Council's priority, which would support the stability of society's cornerstone, which is the family. She expressed thanks to Viva 
Aviva Bahrain for its contribution in furnishing the project apartment, affirming the importance of the private sector's role in supporting such developmental projects. Her Royal Highness toured the project's apartment models, which were designed in accordance with the beneficiary's social circumstances. She also toured the facilities that have been provided in the building. She was briefed about the project by the Minister of Housing, Dr. Bassem bin Yagoub al Hamar, who praised the SCW's efforts under the presidency of Her Royal Highness Princess Sibika al Khalifa. Al Hamar noted that uh, the Ministry of Housing has taken into account during the planning phase to provide uh, the beneficiaries' needs. He added that 3,500 women have benefited from the housing units. His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports held today in Bahrain National Stadium in the presence of His Highness, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletic Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Council's members. During the meeting, new sports and youth initiatives were discussed and the results of various uh, government projects aiming at activating the council's policies were reviewed. As Aina Sheikh Nasser highlighted the importance of preserving the major achievements accomplished by the youth and sports movement in the kingdom. Under the support and interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser for being honored with the Arab Social Media Influencers Summit Award and for being granted the Association of National Olympics Committee ANOC Medal. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the Council's members, hailing the efforts of various official bodies to participate in implementing the general policies of the Council, which come in accordance with the directives of His Majesty the King. He also noted the importance of integrating work between various government ministries and bodies to enhance the march of the youth and sports movement, focusing on the necessity of creating programs and initiatives aiming at developing the youth and sports sector. The Minister of Education gave a, gave a presentation about the construction project of a sports school that provides a comprehensive sports and education program for students as well as the project of allocating a sports class for team sports and athletics. The Minister of Education reviewed the strategic goals of the sports school project including the development of students' scientific education as well as their sports one and choosing talented athletes according to modern scientific principles. The Council assigned the Ministry of Education to prepare a study on the allocation of a boy sports school and a girls one in every governance. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, Engineer Ahmed Abdelaziz Al Khayat, gave a presentation on the new sports stadium project which consists of four training fields and a shopping mall. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's receiving the Arab Social Media Influencers Summit Award in the Youth category in a ceremony held at Dubai on 
under the kind uh, patronage of the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended today a parade marking Bahrain Police Day, celebrated on December 14th of every year. Also present were the Interior Ministry Under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, the General Inspector, Public Security Chief, and Interior Ministry Under Secretary. The celebration comes in recognition of the tremendous efforts and sacrifices made by Bahraini police in maintaining national security and safety for the people. People of Bahrain. After that, the interior minister inspected the guards of honor. On the occasion, the Interior Minister delivered a speech in which he offered his best wishes and greetings to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and Bahrain's National Day. He also expressed gratitude and appreciation to the constant support provided to Bahrain police by the wise leadership to elevate the security level in all aspects. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah also expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the tremendous efforts exerted by policemen in the protection of security and public order. عام 1783 ميلادية والذكرى الخامسة والأربعين لانضمامها في الأمم المتحدة كدولة كاملة العضوية والذكرى السابعة عشر لتسلم حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه لمقاليد الحكم كما أبارك إلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه وإلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه ويطيب لي في هذا اليوم الرابع عشر من شهر ديسمبر الذي نحتفل فيه بيوم شرطة البحرين أن أعرب عن خالص فخري وتقديري بجهودكم المشكورة على الدوام مؤكدا بأن ما قمتم به من أعمال مخلصة في كل وقت وفي كل موقع وما قدمتموه من تضحيات جسام إنما يؤكد حقيقة واحدة وهي أننا مصممون على تحقيق الأمن في هذا البلد وإرساء عدالة القانون مهما 
كلفنا ذلك وهذه مهمة وطنية ينجزها من تحلوا بالإيمان بالله والولاء لمليكهم والتفاني في سبيل وطنهم من أجل أن يسود الأمن وينعم الناس بالاستقرار والطمأنينة واسمحوا لي أيها الأخوة أن أهنئ البحرين بكم وأهنئ أهلكم بما لم فيكم من معاني الرجولة والفداء فلم تكن دروع الأمن تلك التي تحملونها في أيديكم ولكن ما تحملونه في صدوركم من إيمان وإخلاص وولاء وانتماء وإن مهمتنا الأمنية الشريفة هي لمن أراد أن يكون في الطليعة وفي مقدمة الصف الوطني حفاظاً على أمن البلد ولمن وجد في نفسه النزاهة والأمانة والثبات على الحق والتحلي بالانضباط فمن لا يضبط نفسه لا يمكن أن يضبط الآخرين واعلموا أيها الأخوة بأن المؤسسات الأمنية في أي مكان فهي مستهدفة من عديم الضمائر ولكن لن نسمح بذلك أو بأن يكون بيننا من هو متخاذل أو متردد أو فاسد فقد كان لتاريخ شرطة البحرين محطات مضيئة في العمل الوطني وما زالت ماثلة في الذكرى والوجدان وظلت على الدوام المثال والقدوة بفضل من تشرفوا بالخدمة فيها من جيل الرواد ومن تبعهم في العمل في سلك الشرطة أيها الأخوة الأعزاء إننا نسعى إلى إشاعة الأمن والطمأنينة في نفوس الناس وليس بخاف علينا بأن طريق الأمن هي طريق التحديات خصوصا في ظل في ظل ما تمر به المنطقة من تداعيات أمنية غير عادية فهناك مناطق غابت عنها سلطة القانون وأصبحت الجريمة العابرة للحدود أكثر تعقيدا وتأثيرا ناهيك عن الأفكار المتطرفة والاتصالات المتعددة والفعالة والأموال المسخرة وما نتج عن ذلك من انتشار للجرائم الإرهابية الخطيرة ولكن وبتوفيق من الله سبحانه وتعالى فإن ثقتنا كبيرة في شهامة الرجال الذين عرفتهم وعرفتهم البحرين الكرام المضحين بأعمارهم من أجل أمن بلدهم وبما نحظى به من تنسيق وتعاون وثيق مع إخواننا في قوة دفاع البحرين والحرس الوطني وبفضل الإسناد الوطني اللامحدود من قبل المحبين المخلصين لهذا البلد من مواطنين ومقيمين إضافة إلى عمقنا الأمني الخليجي وتعاوننا مع الأشقاء بدول مجلس التعاون والدول العربية وكذلك تعاوننا الأمني مع الأصدقاء وحلفائنا العالميين وفي هذا المقام فإني أدعو بالرحمة لشهداء الواجب الأبرار الذين قدموا أرواحهم الغالية في سبيل الوطن وللمصابين بالشفاء العاجل ووفاء لتضحياتهم سيظلون على الدوام موضع التقدير في يوم تكريم الشهداء في السابع عشر من هذا الشهر حيث سجلت شرطة البحرين أسماء خالدة على طريق الشهادة وإن أبناء الشهداء وذويهم موضع العناية والرعاية فهم أمانتنا ومن حقهم علينا أن يعيشوا على هذه الأرض كرماء أعزاء سائلا علي القدير أن يحفظ مملكة البحرين وأن يديم عليها نعمة الأمن والاستقرار والتقدم والازدهار في ظل قيادة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
After that, a number of officers and non-commissioned officers were honored for their dedication and effective execution of their duty. Then a military parade was performed. Then a demonstration reflecting the field skills of the officers was performed.
Oh, 